Humanizing Technologies. Hello and welcome to the second part of the Pepper navigation tutorial. In the last part, we saw how to use the mapping tool and we created a map of the room as well as three positions the home position and position A and position B. Now, we use those positions in the RMS online platform. Therefore, first of all, we log in. Then we go to projects. Here I already pre-made an example project where you can see the functionalities of the navigation. The first one is a location button. It is very simple. It is just uh, one line with a location name, which needs to be the exact same name as um, we used in the positions, as well as one slide, one content element. And this content element can of course be set up here with a picture, a text, and a script for Pepper to speak. Then the robot will drive to the location when you hit on the button. You can also display the content while driving, and when it is disabled like this, the robot will show the content as soon as it, it has arrived at the position. Of course, after this first element, you could now uh, use the short codes to jump to a next element. This functionality is just for the beginning. It will be disabled later on in the next few weeks or months. It is just to get used to the location functionality and how to use it. And here you can see that the location uh, short code is created too for this button but you can also use the locations as hashtags. I will show you this later. So let's go back. You can also use the navigation inside slideshows. That means we go to a slideshow now. Here we have created one already. And there is another option down below saying add location. And this can be used between slideshows, uh, and sorry, between slides. It can be used at the beginning of a slideshow or at the end, doesn't matter. And when you use one of those positions, the robot will drive to the location you have saved and which are you writing in inside this text line here. There are two options for the location line, same like in the button functionality. You can either let the robot showing the text while driving or when it has arrived at the position. Yeah, and another thing which we added here is the non-interactive and interactive slideshow functionality. A non-interactive slideshow will be just shown, the robot is moving around, without any interaction, without recognizing people and without proactive mode active. That means uh, it runs just through and when a person is engaging, the person needs to actively click on the home button to stop the robot. Otherwise, it will just drive around the person and continue with the slideshow. When I click on the check mark here and set it as an interactive slideshow, then of course the robot stops when it sees a person, interacts with the person, the slideshow is interrupted, you can talk with the robot, you can uh, play games with the robot, let it dance, whatever you want. And after it has finished, then the slideshow can be restarted, can be uh, resumed and this resume functionality is something new as well. I will show you how this works now. 
So this slideshow we leave interact uh, non-interactive. The other one right next to it is exactly the same same slideshow with the difference that I have set up the check mark here for interactive slideshows. And I will show you this on the robot later on. Now back to the resume functionalities. This can be used, for example, in the dialogues. So the best way to use it is in the solitary mode. That's why I go there. In the solitary mode, I have already set up an example dialog. Very simple. You, the robot says when nobody is around. So when the solitary mode is triggered and then the slideshow, the interactive slideshow will be resumed. When I just use the shortcode for the slideshow and then add a an hash uh, and backslash resume. Sorry, it's just a slash resume like this. And I can use this resume functionality everywhere, but it makes most sense to use it in the solitary mode, because when you imagine that someone engages the robot, the robot stops its slideshow, and the two interact with each other, then the person moves away, the robot will at some point go automatically to the solitary mode, and then it would be great if it resumes the slideshow. So here it makes the most sense. Keep in mind that you need only one solitary dialogue like this. If you have more than one, of course, it might be that not the correct one is triggered or it takes more time to trigger the correct resume uh, slideshow dialogue. And of course, you can set up the re-trigger time very low for your solitary mode here in the project, like you know already. And then the solitary is triggered much faster. So this is it. Then let's try it on the robot and see how it was working. Humanizing technologies.